The New York Jets are at home for Week 17. They don't have much to play for, but their opponent does. Tampa Bay is in town. The Buccaneers trying to make sure they don't overlook Gang Green. Tom Brady and the boys didn't overlook the Panthers. Brady looking, throws, great wide open touchdown! First, their passing attack should not struggle to move the ball through the air against New York. Brady faced a solid Panthers secondary in Week 16 without Mike Evans. Had a solid, clean, ho-hum Brady-type game. Has time, throws a deep ball downfield. Got to receive, zero, Grayson, throw 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Six-yard line, he's tackled from behind. TB12 got Antonio Brown back. He was the real star for them last week. Ten catches, over 100 yards in his return. Look in that direction again, and there's Brown, the toe tap, and out of bounds. If Brady gets Evans back against New York, their passing attack will look closer to the one that leads the league in passing TDs and yards. Going to the end zone, and it's pulled down. What a catch. Mike Evans. Oh, my God. So couple their numbers with the Jets' pass defense digits. You'll rarely find a bigger disparity. This basically amounts to number one facing number 32. His pocket starts to muddy. High pass, it's caught! Reason number two, their pass rush should be able to live in New York's backfield on pass plays. The Bucks planted Carolina QBs in the ground seven times, hit them 11. Blitz coming, picked up, in trouble though is Newton, and down he goes, Vita Vea. Tampa is top 10 in sacks, QB hits, and and pressure percentage overall. Pressure up the middle. Down he goes again. Sack number seven for Tampa Bay. New York's offense, they've allowed one of the highest sack totals in the NFL. Throws him back to throw, get pressure, and the ball Trouble. comes out. They hit him, and it's a strip sack. And reason number three, the Buccaneers secondary should have no problem stopping Wilson when he lets it fly. They held Sam Darnold slash Cam Newton to 206 yards, under six yards per attempt, no TDs, one pick. Lobs it in the air, and it's batted away, and then intercepted by Murphy Bunting. Their season numbers against QBs are all healthy, too. I think Whitehead, Whitehead got a got, hand on that he one. He sure did. He was letting everybody on the Carolina sideline know. Now they take on Zach Wilson. His numbers are not healthy this year. There's that old accuracy that Wilson touched on, said it was his strong suit collegiately, but there have been times where he just hasn't put it where he wants it to go. And last week, he was up against a Jags defense that has struggled to stop the pass. He barely cracked 100 yards, under five yards per attempt. Wilson wrapped up, boy, dangerous play. But how about a reason New York could pull an upset? Well, they've done it before, twice actually. They don't have many wins, but two of them came against the Titans and Bengals, both playoff teams, and no one saw either of those victories coming. Directing traffic, gonna go deep, has a man deep. Tell us if you think they can pull off a third upset in the comments section or if chalk will prevail. Here's what our panel thinks of it.